Welcome to Nandini Infosys YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to install Tally Prime Edit Log Release 2.1 or its later versions and migrate data into scenarios. On the Tally Solutions download portal, you can download the application's Tally Prime Edit Log. If your business falls under the purview of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs or MCA's Audit Trail Compliance Requirement, then you will need to download and install Tally Prime Edit Log. If you already have Tally Prime or Tally RP9 license, you can use the same license to upgrade to Tally Prime Edit Log. Tally Prime has also ensured that the activity of installing the Edit Log product and migrating the data of older applications do not affect your company data. The size of your data increases based on the increase in the number of modifications done to the transaction and masters as the system creates a copy of the data to produce the version history. This video will also help you understand the changes that happen when you migrate the data. Now let us get familiar with the installation and data migration scenarios related to Tally Prime Edit Log Release 2.1 and its later versions. First, let us see how to install Tally Prime Edit Log. There can be three different scenarios when you are installing Tally Prime. Scenario 1. You are a new user. In this case, you will need to perform licensing and initial setup processes. You can download the setup of Tally Prime. Now double click on the setup file. There is a default path for the application. You can change it if needed. Scenario 2. You already have one Tally Prime application in your system. Double click on the setup file and you will be directed to the update Tally Prime screen. Click more actions and you will see an option to install a new application. We recommend that you install a new application rather than update an existing one. It will enable you to have both the applications in your system. You can see the default path for the application. You can configure the path as per your requirement. Scenario 3 you have Tally Prime release 2.1 and you want to upgrade to Tally Prime Edit Log. Double click on the setup file of Tally Prime Edit Log that you can clearly identify based on the presence of the text element. You can see that all the applications are listed. Now let us consider that you want to update Tally Prime release 2.1. You can see that the default path of the version is the same path of the existing application. Press I or click update to update. As you can see, a message appears to inform you that you are updating a Tally Prime application to Tally Prime Edit Log. It is important to note that all the application settings will be preserved. For instance, if you had saved any report views in the application, the same will get carried forward to Tally Prime Edit Log. Press Y or click Yes to accept. Press Yes or click Start Application to start the application. The companies are listed and you will need to migrate the data. If your companies are preloaded, then also you will need to migrate the data. Let's see how the data migration works. Open the product. As you can see, the logo of Edit Log is clearly visible in the splash screen. You can see Edit Log in the top left corner. You can now see the label migration required against companies. Bring the cursor to the company you want to open and press Enter. The message says that Tally Prime will start creating edit log for all activities that you will perform after migration. Press R or click Migrate. Moreover, if the method of voucher numbering in any voucher type is set to automatic, then the method will change to automatic manual override. However, voucher numbers will remain intact. A change in voucher number due to the change of date to an older date, insertion or deletion creates an edit log. 
Changing the method of voucher numbering to automatic manual override ensures that the voucher number does not change due to such activities and edit log does not get created for the affected vouchers. It is important to note that when you migrate the data of TallyPrime release to point 1 with edit log disabled totally prime edit log, you will get the same message. You can, however, set the method of voucher numbering to automatic, if needed. Go to Alter, Voucher Type Sales. As you can see, the method of voucher numbering is automatic manual override. Now, let's open Daybook. Press Alt G, type or select Daybook, and press Enter. You can see the voucher number of all vouchers. Now press Alt G, type or select saved views and press enter. The views saved in the data will get carried forward just like other configurations in the company. As you saw, upgrading to Tally Prime edit log is a seamless process. You can install a new release or update an old Tally release to Tally Prime edit log. You will load and install both the products if you are a chartered accountant who manages and audits data of MCA compliant and other companies or you own a business with multiple companies, some of which are not MCA compliant. You can easily distinguish both the products based on the appearance of the setup file, flash screen, while you open the product and the presence and absence of the text edit log on the top left corner in the product. You can migrate data of any TallyPrime release to TallyPrime edit log release and vice versa. This enables you to work on TallyPrime edit log and TallyPrime releases both in the same system. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.